Good morning once again, options traders. Well, because of all of the recent market turmoil here at the end of January of 2022, I thought it might be appropriate to talk about some of the dangers of hedging with spreads. Now, don't get me wrong. I love spreads. I use them all the time. I use them all the time for hedging. Perhaps I should have called this the unexpected outcomes that traders often get with spreads, because that's really more what it's about. People think that they're putting on these hedges and getting one type of risk profile, and it's really something quite different. So what is that and why does it happen with spreads? Well, let's go take a look. Let's say that we've got stock trading for 100 and we feel that there's going to be this market pullback or maybe upcoming earnings, whatever. We would like to buy the 90 put. Let's say it's got 30 days to expiration, but it's trading for five bucks. Now remember, we can't look at that $5 price and say, oh, that's not all that expensive. It all depends on the volatility. This could be outrageously expensive. And because of that, we might choose to not buy it, or at least realize that we would have a huge mathematical edge against us. So to combat this, we might use a spread. We might buy the $90 put and sell the $80 put. So if we can collect four bucks, now we have a net debit of a dollar and we have a spread with a maximum value of 10 or a max gain of nine. But the spread by itself could be worth 10. And that's because we've purchased the 90 put, we've sold off the 80, the difference in those strikes is 10. So if we do that, what have we done to our risk graph? Well, let's say that here's our 100 shares of stock and it's currently trading for 100, which is why this red line crosses zero right there at 100. This is where we're just breaking even. And if we buy the $90 put by itself, we would get a bend right here at 90 and we would perfectly hedge this risk below 90, at least at expiration. And that's important. This green graph is only at expiration. Now, because we don't want to buy just the 90 put, we decided to sell off the 80. And what that does is it changes us from the green to the black. Notice the black curve, the vertical spread doesn't cost us as much. That's why the black curve sits above the green, but there's a trade-off. Eventually, if the stock falls below 80, the short strike, we go right back into these positive 100 deltas because we now effectively own those shares again. Our insurance only applies between 80 and 90, and that's why we get this flat zone right here. So this is the way that traders think that their risk graph looks. And a lot of times it's because they only look at the expiration graphs. But here's what's actually happening. Let's go back to our stock trading for 100. When we're putting the hedge on, of course, the zone that we're concerned about is right here between 80 and 90, those two strikes. So again, it could be a number of reasons, could be implied volatility. Maybe we just don't think the stock is going to fall this far. And we figure why pay for the full price of the 90 when I can sell off the 80. But the main point is that we're trying to flatten out this region. So if we buy the 80-90 put spread with 30 days to expiration, this is what it looks like. Notice it's not a whole lot different from the red. We've still retained most of these positive deltas. Now you can see that the blue line has been shifted a little bit higher above the red. So we do have some type of a hedge going on here, but it's not a great one. Again, traders may be thinking that once the stock hits 90, it's going to completely flatten out here, and you can see it just isn't. So what's gonna happen as time goes by? Well, let's say the same spread with 10 days to expiration now changes from the blue to the green. And take a look at that, almost no difference at all. Keep in mind, we went from having 30 days to expiration to 10, so 20 days have passed. Two thirds of that time has gone off of our hedge, and yet it really hasn't done a thing for us. We look at this same spread with only one day to go, and now we're finally starting to see this flat zone appear. And that's because our vertical spread is finally starting to get these negative deltas here, which are offsetting these positive deltas on our long stock position. But the point that you have to understand is that this doesn't happen until you get really close to expiration. So if you want to use a vertical spread like this, maybe to head off a potential maintenance call, not a good idea. It's not going to do it because you're still going to have those large positive deltas. So then that brings up another type of a problem. 
And I've talked about this in a recent video where some traders will use what's called the neutral ratio. And that is found by taking one divided by delta. And what this does, it shows how many deltas you need to fully hedge today. Notice that when we used the vertical spread, it was what we needed to hedge at expiration. But what if you wanted that full hedge to be kicked in today? Well, let's go back to where the stock is trading for 100. And let's say that that $90 put has a delta of 0.45. To find the neutral ratio, we take 1 divided by 0.45, it gives us 2.22 puts. So we would need just over 2 puts if we wanted to hedge all stock prices below the current price right now. See that's a very different problem. Now of course we can't buy 2.22, so let's just say that we buy 2. But the problem is, yes, we get to hedge right now, so here's our risk graph, we've shifted from the red to the green, and right below 100, you can see that we're starting to flatten out. We didn't continue down with these positive deltas. So that might get you out of the woods today and keep you from falling, but look at what else it does. You've now got these negative deltas over here. And that's because, in this example, you bought two puts. So the trade-off here, the big danger, is that you've now shifted this break-even point way off to the right. And you've also got this lower break even way off to the left. And that means that in most cases, you probably just spent a lot of money to have a guaranteed loss. Stock will most likely stay somewhere between these break even points. What happens with 15 days to expiration? Okay, so half the time has gone off, we move from the green to the blue. If we have five days till expiration, we move from the blue to the orange, slowly starting to pull away. And then finally, when we get right at expiration, we move from the orange to the black. And notice what we have here. This is a straddle. So yes, long shares of stock plus two puts is synthetically exactly the same thing as owning a straddle. I've got negative 100 deltas on this side. I've got positive 100 deltas on this side. So the risk here, even though you might be flattening out at the current stock price, is that you're spending a lot of money for that immediate insurance and you're really overpaying for it. You're really turning it from a hedge into speculation because now you've got a risk graph that can make money if the stock price rises or if it falls. And yes, that sounds like it's a great thing on paper, but remember it's a very low probability thing. And that's not really the purpose of hedging. So you have to be careful about buying multiple puts like this to try to flatten out your risk graph right now. And so the main thing I want you to get from this video is to realize that every decision alters your risk graph. No strategy is better or worse. They're just different. They're different tools. And this is why so many traders have problems with options or with hedging is that they're not using the tools properly. So if you can learn how to hedge your positions before the market unravels, that's when you're going to have your best success. And for anyone who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab, and a technical analysis course. It's all at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.